Hello friends, myself Pravin Patak. Today I am going to discuss about the information and communication technology. Normally we are going to explain it as a ICT. So in the first lecture I am going to discuss about the basics of computers. So today nowadays we all know that the computers are very important and now the computers may of different types. Normally we are <coughs> using the desktop computers in a past few years but now we are using the laptops, palm tops etc. So we must know about the basics of computer. So normally in the previous years or in offices also we are using the desktop machines which contains the monitor, CPU, keyboard, mouse and some accessories like printer, scanner, etc. And in some cases where we are traveling at some places or we are, we must access the internet or network or we must do something on a computer, then we have to use notebook, palm top, mobile instead of the desktop where because the desktop is a fixed computer but when we require some flexibility then we must go for the other computers. So computer system consists of three elements like hardware, software and a user. So user is nothing but we. So we are using the computer that is why it is called as user and we are using the hardware. Hardware means the physical components that is monitor, keyboard, mouse, CPU are the hardware and the software are the components which are <coughs> not a physical component but virtually they are controlling the activities on the computer system. So this computer system basically having three element again that is data, processing and information. So indirectly it is nothing but the input process and output like industry. So for any manufacturing industry or process the same elements are there input process and output. So input is nothing but the data which we type on a keyboard or with the help of mouse or some uh, with the help of some input elements we are giving the data to the processing unit and CPU is going to process the data and CPU again gives us the output. So that output may be in the form of images, may be in the form of videos, in the form of presentations, calculations, etc. So this is one element, main element that is software. So software is a set of program. So telling the computer how to process the data. So there are two types of software, system software and application software. So system software, it controls the overall operation of the system. It is uh, stored in the computer's memory and instruct the computers to load, store and execute the applications. So the examples of system software are OS that is called as operating system, some translators, DOS or Windows, Unix etc. Application softwares are the software written to perform specific tasks. So the basic types of application softwares are word processing, database, spreadsheet, desktop publishing and communications. Some examples of the application softwares are MS Office, Tally, MS Outlook. Now the advantages of computers, so it gives us the speed. So we are calculating some um, mathematical formula, we are calculating some equations or we are uh, giving the information from one location to another location on thousands of kilometer within a second. So that is the speed. Now accuracy. So whatever the data we have given to the computer, it accurately calculate the things and give the accurate results. Then diligence. Computers are capable of performing any task given to them repeatedly. So the same calculations or the formula can be used number of times without any hesitation or without any fatigue because the computers are nothing but the machines. 
then the storage capacity computers can store large volume of data and information on magnetic media so there are types of computers like laptop palm top micro computer desktop mini computer mainframe or super computer so these are the computer classification on the basis of computing power and size so as we know that the mini frame computers main frame computer or super computers are the large size computers and nowadays we are using this laptop and palm top these are the small computer in a size then the main element of computer system is nothing but the cpu that is central processing unit so it it is nothing but a brain of a your computer so it contains various electronic circuits to operate all the data to process all the data and uh, gives the output as per the requirement of a user then the keyboard it looks like a typewriter but it contains the uh, different keys alphanumeric keys alphabets numbers on or specific symbols so it operates like a typewriter but instead of moving an arm which strikes the paper it sends a electronic impulse so when we press a or b or c or 1 2 3 or like that then that gives the electronic impulse to the computer which displays the character on the monitor and we can gives this output in terms of printer plotter scanner mail etc then the element of a computer system is a mouse it's a device that is used to control the computer uh, a cable connects the mouse to the computer but nowadays wireless mouse are also available and that can be used for the computer also in a same way wireless keyboards are also available nowadays when the mouse is moved on a pad called the mouse pad the cursor on the screen moves and in the same way that arrow or that symbol that cursor symbol gives us the idea where the cursor of the mouse is there so nowadays again the mouse pad is not required because the mouse are designed in a such a way that you can use the mouse on a rough spaces also or on a single paper also then the printer so there are different types of printer mainly uh, when in a last decade we are using we were using that dot matrix printer then line printer printers are also there then the laser and inkjet printers are the major printers which are used in the offices or in the institutes or organizations so basically these are types of impact and non impact printers in the impact printers so dot matrix and line printers are there and in the non impact laser inkjet thermal photo plotters are also there so when we required some machine designs or building designs on a large size in a specific components then we must use the plotter instead of the printer so plotter is of large size and the paper of the plotter is also large size as compared to the printer normally we are using a4 size paper in a laser printer or inkjet printer then the component is scanner so scanner is a device used to cap copy an image of paper and convert it into the digital image so when we put the paper on a scanner then the text or the alphabet numeric or the specific characters are uh, read by that scanner and it is converted into ocr so it is called as optical character recognition so this is the ocr technology used in the scanner then if you know the cpu what exactly the cpu cpu is nothing but the brain of a computer and if you observe the components of this cpu then we can understand what exactly the components of the computer system or a brain in the central processing units and this is the outside of this cpu so if you look inside the cpu then we can understand there are different compartments like power supply then cards arrangement then the motherboard then hard drive floppy drive cd rom drive etc so these are the major elements inside the cpu there are different major components like 
I have shown in the previous slide like power supply, motherboard, memory card slots, cards, CPU heatsink and fan, drivers etc. which can also shown in the next slide. So in this slide we can understand or observe the RAM bank that is random access memory, then card slots that ISA and PCI and some CPU fan heatsink elements. Then what exactly these elements are doing? So we must understand what is the function of this element. So it's a power supply, the supply is power to all the circuitry and devices, motherboard like a body acts as a manager for everything on the computer, connects all the other components together and CPU is a brain, this does all the work of computing. Then RAM, random access memory, short term memory holds data and program instructions that the computer is currently using. So, RAM and ROM are the main types of memory. So, RAM is nothing but the short term memory that is random access memory. Then hard drive that is long term memory for permanent storage holds all of the information that needs to be stored between the uses of computer and then floppy and CD drives. But nowadays we are using pen drives uh, uh, that is also called as PD by uh, new generation and these floppy and CD drives are like a pen drive but having a low storage for a long term memory or that may be used for the short term memory also because the data can be replaced uh, by new data in a floppy or CD-ROM drives or the pen drives. Then card slots, so allows other components to be added to the computer. So these are the slots provided for the uh, same functioning that you can add some components in that slots. Video card that is does all the processing necessary to get stuff looking nice on screen quickly. Sound cards that allow sound from HD or CD-ROM to be played. Then network card allows computer to talk to other computers over a wire. So we can connect the same uh, computer or PC or laptop to other computers in an institute or organizations that is called as LAN. And in some cases we can use the WAN. So these are the networks. Now the next point is motherboard. So we can, we must observe the elements involved in the motherboards. So this is the first lecture or the basic lecture. So I am not going to uh, detail, I am not going to go in a detail of this uh, each and every components, but you should know at least which part is a motherboard part. In this AGP slot and PCS slots are uh, given, then the RAM. So this is RAM, random access memory for short term use. This is hard drive and these are the CD drives. So these are the different parts of computers. This is a ribbon cables where data is transmitted through this polarized points or cables and this is the video card. So we must know all types or the components of these computers and we must understand which part is there and what is the function of this particular part. So sound card is particularly uh, used for the sound recording. Video card is there so it is used for the video recording and likewise. Then CPU is the again I have already discussed that it is a brain. There are three elements main control unit, arithmetic logic unit and memory. Now there are different major peripherals are there. So that is nothing but the keyboard, mouse, hard disk, floppy disk, CD-ROM, printer, scanner, joystick, etc. So that peripherals may be added uh, in a new generation. So different parts or components are also added in the peripheral list. So what is operating system? It is maybe viewed as a collection of software consisting of procedures for operating the computer. So it operates the system that is why it is called as operating system. It provides an environment of execution of program that is application software. It is an interface between a user and computer. So this is the computer machine, then operating system and user. So this is the combination of working of the computer system. So there are hardware elements, then there is an operating system that is virtual and then the user. So user can provide the data to the computer machine through the operating system and computer can give us the output to the user 
through the operating system again. Then the second classification based on the type of interface operating system provides for the user to work in that is CUI and GUI. So CUI means character user interface. The user has to type the commands. So there is a specific space in which we can type the command and we get the output. So like DOS and Unix are the examples for this CUI and GUI means graphical user interface. So normally the common persons are using this GUI base and some requirement where the CUI is required. So the graphical user interface examples are Windows, 9x, XP, NT, 2000, Linux, etc. Then the Windows operating system hierarchy. So in previous like 1986, that is MS-DOS 1, X, then 1990, 93, 95, 98 and likewise nowadays we are using uh, Windows 7, 8, 8.1 version and the next versions are also coming. Thanks to Aptech Computer Education and MN Shetty of Chemical Department and total entire team 